Hello everybody, this is your good friend the Mysterious JG. As you can see, I'm playing something on the Xbox 360. So, uh, I'm running a greater risk than usual of getting some kind of copyright issue here. Because this is a game for a system you can still go out and buy. Although I suppose you can still go out and buy PS2. Um, that's my avatar. Uh, he does look a little bit like the avatar of um, Tecmo Secret of the Stars fame. But he doesn't really look anything like me before you get too excited. But my icon in the upper right corner is... Kabagami Ganjiro, who looks even less like me than that guy does there. Uh, so, yeah, Mysterious JG, hey, you can see mine, you can look me up, and because you had no way of looking me up on Xbox before, but now you know my username is Mysterious JG, so there you go. We are going to play a game which does not prompt a, a neat little icon picture here, like almost all of the Xbox games do. Uh, and it is a game called Bullet Witch. And you might be thinking to yourself, JG, you just got done playing Rumble Roses, which is all, like, you know, chicks in shiny costumes. Why in the world would you want to play a game like Bullet Witch? Well, Bullet Witch clearly, on its, like, game packaging, markets itself as being about a super sexy hot chick. But really, it's like a quasi-first-person shooter, so how much of the hot chick are we really going to get to see? It's basically just a shooter with a really goofy J-pop style plot, and that's what I like to see. Although I do suck at first-person shooters. This isn't, strictly speaking, a first-person shooter because you're... It's one of those cameras that's, like, above and behind the main character so you can see the main character. But you're pretty much... It's, it's like a faux first-person kind of thing. And this game is by Atari, one of the all-time great companies for entertaining us old people. And, uh... It's... She is a witch. He's a priest. Can they get along? Graceful and merciless. She's bullet witch. And she's got feathers. She's got birds. 2013 AD. Countless demons walk the earth. Including this hot one. One girl walks with the demons within. She shoots stuff. She kills dudes. With her awesome power of building walls and shooting brains. She blows up stuff. There is another Let's Play of this. this is, I'm not the only person to ever Let's Play it, but uh, the only other Let's Play I could find only goes to the first stage. And, um, you know, I don't mean to be a dick or anything, but uh, the guy just set up a camera to shoot his TV rather than capturing the video on his computer. And, you know, that's one way to do it, but I never really... I don't really like Let's Plays like that, so I figured I'd do this game uh, JG style, which is to say lots of stupid references to Mr. Science Theater that you won't understand. The invisible god wouldn't bend the laws that govern life. The devil. You look like a normal human being. Tinkly that power of yours isn't human. I don't know. It's more like... More like... a witch. Is this Kinda, yeah. I'm glad you said it, though. Resurrection within the flames of hell. Hell. I actually... That's some power. It's That's pretty cool. Absorbed in our souls. I don't think I've seen this intro before. This is more goofy than I realized it was. I don't want to die. So, what's your name anyway? This is actually making the game look a lot cooler than it really is. <laughs> oh wow, Bullet Witch, folks. Bullet Witch. Yeah, it's like the, pre the preview for the game. It's like, dude, we've already bought the game. I guess in theory people still rent games. Well, people do Gamefly now. Nobody rents them from stores anymore, but... I need to get a Gamefly account going. Okay, select a storage device. Sure. Now, this is a game that I have already played through and beaten. Uh, so I've kind of like... You, you earn points and you power up weapons and blah blah blah, and you upgrade your character. Um, and I've kind of already done that. Uh, so I'm a little bit overpowered, but, you know, I'm not going to get any stronger as the game goes. Um, what else should I tell you before we get started here? Option. I'm not going to play on, I'm going to play on the normal difficulty. If I wanted to unlock more, if I wanted to get more Xbox points for this game, I'd have to play on higher difficulty. But I don't want to do that while you're watching, because I'm probably going to suck as it is. I'm not good at these kinds of games. Um, where's the costume select? There are free downloads off Xbox Live, so I downloaded them all because they're free. But you can see, it's it's meant to be super sexy, so there she is in her witch costume. She can also do a sort of other witch costume. She can be a schoolgirl, because there's no game from Japan 
or the female character where there is no school girl costume. Uh, she can be a sexy secretary, and um, as completely ridiculous as that, I mean, you gotta admit it's kind of hot. Like, there's barely any skin not showing on this fictional uh, witch person. But yeah, that's like kind of the. I mean, yeah, I get it's hot and all, but you just feel ridiculous running around wearing that costume. Uh, she can be a mummy. I don't understand the appeal of that. And she can be um, this thing, but we're gonna stick with the default costume. Uh, change costume. No, I think I'm already on that. I better, just in case, I don't want to embarrass myself and find out that the last time I played this, which would have been a while ago, I was playing as, you know, sexitary or, um, the, um, schoolgirl or something really embarrassing. Uh, so we're going to do a new game. And, uh, I should also warn you that because this is an action game, and, uh, Bobo the Vulture isn't here to be one extra person who can potentially remember when 50 minutes is up, I will probably, more often than in any previous Let's Play, uh, forget, uh, record over 15 minutes and not have proper intros and, um, you know, so long, thanks for watching statements on this Let's Play. So just be prepared. This is what I think I would have to do to get more points, but no way. I've beaten hard, and that was... I died a million times trying to do that, so... Even normal mode is actually, you know, I'm just not, I'm not good at these games, and this one isn't super easy. Anyway, here's the trees. Heavy breathing by a dude. Bowling ball! That's a mystery science hero. Like everything else. There's a scary snake carving thing. Creepy forest of creepiness. Now, you know, if you're wandering around alone in the forest, it can be creepy, but not so much because you think there's going to be demons. More like, you know, a bear or something. That's why you should always have the black belt demon with you in case you run into a bear. Which uh, won't make sense to you because I haven't... That's from Double X. We haven't played that, so never mind. Hey, it's a pit of spikes. You probably don't want to um, go down there, man. I'm thinking that uh, I, that wouldn't be the way to go down if you wanted to go down. <laughs> Dude, check it out! That guy totally impaled himself! Heckle Jekyll and their million closest friends. Bullet Witch, the story of a first-person perspective suicide. I wonder if I'll actually get to the game in this video. Helena, Boise. Okay, America's glowing with the... Uh, whoa! That's not good. Giant quake strikes U.S. West Coast. Magnitude 8.7. Dead over 44,000. That happened uh, about three years ago. Well, that's my recording this. The World Trade Center thing? Is that... Uh, please don't tell me you're referencing that. 2008 Global Warfare. A new Middle East war. Dead over 600,000. Really pixelated graphics of tanks. You're welcome. I hope this looks okay. Oh, that's not nice. I hope this looks okay because um, I had to homicidal virus ravages the world. Dead over 320 million. 2012, Sarah Palin elected president. Dead over 800 bajillion. That would be a nightmare, folks. A barren climate. Three quarters of nation starved. Dead over 800 million. Legions of Horror, the worldwide massacre begins, dead uncountable. Oh, so it's like undefined, they like to fight at a uh, number by infinity. I'd make some kind of calculus joke, I don't really remember calculus. Okay, so these are like scary demons, and the demons are not responding well to protesters. Nations dead, thanks to Tea Party Act. Humanities, dusk. You should have gone to the John Stewart rally, people. This is your fault. Is coming. Who's coming? I mean, you know, the bullet which is kind of hot, but not like, you know, just thinking about it makes you come hot. Sorry. Sorry, that wasn't appropriate at all. U.S. East Coast. Quote the Raven. I 
Actually, we're kind of running. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But yeah, this is not an... Usually I can play this game in HD, but not... not I got it set up when I'm recording it. It's not HD. Go to bed, old man. Over. Hey, that's like the tagline from Street Fighter the movie. Before... Before you kill me. Caress. Okay. So, he's in, like, the Freedom from Religion Foundation. Prayers. You should have done that before. He's dead, dude. He can't hear you. Just a raven. Too we don't kill them for bad. whatever reason. Yeah, demons are killing everyone, so that's basically what this game's about. And, uh, our heroine is, uh... Hey. There's uh, something on. better than a raven. She's got yeah. nice It's a blue skin. jay. Tell us what moisturizer you use now. You want to say your prayers? There is no god in this world. Dude, sorry. That's like the coolest line from Samurai Shodown. Which don't need prayers. We do like uh, chants and stuff, though. I mean, would you like me to chant for you? I'm 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 really a uh, friendly witch. I I'll load the chant for you if you'd like. And we prefer the term Wicca sisters. Sisters be doing it for themselves and all. Oh, okay, I probably should be reading this because I don't actually remember how this game works that well. Uh, but I should be able to get past the first couple of guys. I can't get past the first couple of guys that pretty much shouldn't be let's play in this game. I hear him like crawling around, where the heck is he? Oh, and you can whack them. No, that's not what I meant to do. It's proof the main body is nearby. That putrid stench of death. Okay. The demon here. It's even stronger than I feared. The main body, Jesse Ventura. This city is also doomed. Destruction. Pretty cool, huh? So that is the voice in your head, because this is a game where you have a voice in your head. Um, <clears throat> if this was Metal Gear, it would be like a guy on a codec. But this isn't Metal Gear, it's Bullet Witch, so it's just some dude. I really don't remember how what any of these buttons do. Okay, oh, that's my super gun. I wouldn't normally have access to all of these guns, but I've already played through the game and unlocked stuff, so I'm, you know, a little bit, but advantage here, I suppose. So let's start with the Gatling gun, which is the most expensive and badass gun. And let's not be able to remember what anything else does. I know there was a melee. Yeah, there you go. Now we're going to run out of time here in a minute anyway. But still, I feel like playing with magic. So, what spells we got? We got Rose Spear, which throws uh, stuff that kills enemies. We got Willpower, which I think uh, is like telekinesis or whatever. Ancient wall throws up a wall to prevent snipers from killing you. And I got road spear willpower, ancient wall, element shot that does special stuff to your bullet. Raven panic makes ravens fly around and distracts enemies. That's one of the more useful spells, really. And then uh, sacrifice allows you to heal people, uh, and you get bonus points to keep people alive because you're a good witch, not a bad witch. You're also kind of a hot witch, but like I said, I mean, if you really want to just ogle the main character, his name I think is Alicia, you can't really, I mean, you're meant to, you're, you're looking at the back of her head 90% of the time. Oh, oh, and there's also great magic, but that is unlocked stage by stage in the plot, so it's kind of like, I can't do any great magic yet. And when I can do great magic, the game makes a big deal of telling you about it, so you'll get to see that. But uh, now we're like 1430. I haven't encountered any enemies yet other than those first couple. So it seems like a good place to cut it off and uh, take a minute to make sure this thing recorded properly in the first place. And like I warned you before, uh, you might not be getting little exits like this from every video because um, it's an action game. I'm likely to get distracted. So, um, all right. Uh, this has been the first video of Bullet Witch. I swear I will start playing the game in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, 
good day to you.